Welcome to your daily 49ers update. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. Here is what's happening. Niners were off yesterday, so there's no practice report to speak of. Instead, let's take a listen to Fred Warner on KMBR, who says this little mini buy has been very good for his injured ankle. Oh, yeah, it was major. It was major, especially for me. Uh, the last two weeks I've been dealing with that ankle um, that I that I had back during the Patriots game. So having this extra three days to kind of get that taken care of was, was so big. And just the mental reset, too. You know, it's a long season. And uh, just being able to spend time with my family that I wouldn't usually have was also just major. Fred is hardly the only 49er that's using this time to heal up. Aaron Banks, Malik Mustafa, George Kittle, and many others just had a bunch of bumps and bruises. And hopefully they all feel better going into a very big game against the Kansas City Chiefs. Just don't take my word for it. Listen to how Fred Warner explained how important this game is. This is an important game for us, one, because of where we're at in the season. Uh, you know, we, we haven't had the start that we would have wanted, but we're, you know, we got that win on Thursday night and put ourselves in position to do everything we want to do going forward. And we got to prove to ourselves that we can win, uh, you know, against great football teams in this league. I mean, the, pay, not the, pay, the, the Chiefs are, uh, are undefeated this year and still at the top of their game. Uh, and like you mentioned, they still got 15 back there. And we haven't, I have yet to beat them. You know, I think I played against them maybe four times now and have yet to beat them. So uh, I think it's important. It's an important game for us to try to get over that hump and uh, get this win. I love the way the 49ers are talking about this game. We know how this group is, right? They're the uncrowned champions. They like to talk about how good they are and how teams that beat them get lucky. And not this week. Not this week against the Kansas City Chiefs. You haven't heard anybody say anything like that. That is exactly the mindset that they should have going into this game. Now, when we dive into the game and we look at matchups specifically, Fred Warner's going to have to cover Travis Kelsey. And I know he hasn't gotten off to the best start this year, but he's still Travis Kelsey. So, Fred, what is it like when you have to cover him one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, it's just having an awareness, really, uh, of knowing where he's at at all times. And you, you realize that with those off days of plays, you gotta you gotta cover a little extra longer, you know, than what you're probably used to. Um, so you just gotta you gotta put your track cleats on, you're ready to run all day, um, and, and eat a good breakfast before because hey, it's gonna be a long day. In a big spot, you know where Patrick Mahomes is going. He's throwing to Kelsey first, last, and always. He tried it in the Super Bowl late. Fred made the play. Hopefully, he can continue to make the plays in the game on Sunday. This would be a huge feather in the cap of the 49ers if they can pull this off. And like Fred said, they haven't been able to do it in four tries so far. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Wednesday. Mike Silver is now national. He has gone to the Athletic to be their senior NFL insider. He leaves the San Francisco Chronicle after two years. His first column with the Athletic is already up. If you want to read it, I'll drop a link in the description of this episode. One thing to watch, the kicker situation. The Niners added kicker Anders Carlton to the practice squad in case Matthew Wright can't play against the Chiefs. Carlson was terrible as a rookie. He missed 10 kicks in the regular season and two more in the postseason, including one against the 49ers that helped them get back in that game. And he's not good on kickoffs either. His kickoffs go short of the end zone. 54% of the time. I don't know why the Niners are doing this. Hopefully, Matthew Wright can heal up and be back in time to play the game. One thing you may have missed, another practice squad addition, a new safety, Adrian Amos. Come on down. He should know the 49ers system well. He played for the Jets and the Texans last year. So that's Robert Sala and D'Amico Ryans. So it should be a very short adjustment period. And of course, the Niners need a safety. Malik Mustafa banged up. Talanoa Hufanga banged up. So Adrian Amos may see the field sooner rather than later for San Francisco. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and five. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network wherever you find good audio podcasts. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. You want to get notified every time we go live? Click the bell. That's every weekday and after every single 49ers game for you. Enjoy your Wednesday, everybody. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk later today.